beautiful people and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video today this video is all about my tips and advice to all the young women so if you know you're a young woman like me on your journey with God and you just desire to be like God to walk in your purpose and to really develop as a woman then I suggest that you stick around there's a lot of things that I've learned there's a lot of things that God has shown me taught and refined in me that I just love to share with you because I really have a heart for young women walking with God as a young woman okay we don't need to wait until we're older we can do it now first bit of advice that I'd love to give you is don't think that as a part of your journey and your testimony that you have to go astray and what I mean by this is I kind of felt like I had to go through a partying phase a drunk phase a phase of ungodliness okay let's just call it what it is but I realized that I don't have to do that I can live on the straight and narrow from a young age i can live in purity in holiness in reverence to god from a young age you don't feel like just because your friends are doing the absolute most that you have to do it remember that you are in the world and not of the world so it means that we don't follow the world's practices we don't follow what the world does and you don't have to succumb to peer pressure you don't have to be a people pleaser but understand that as a child of god as a woman of god you're set apart and you need to have standards for your life you need to honor god enough to walk in his ways and so don't feel like you have to go astray don't feel like you have to do the most and then have your coming to Jesus moment no it's okay to live in holiness and purity from a young age it's okay to never get drunk it's okay to be like I've never done drugs I've never smoked I've ne never done all of those things that's okay it doesn't make you weird make you less than it's actually honor to God and remember that's who we live for don't think that because you haven't done all of these things and experienced different things that your testimony has less value I was always like to God, like, I haven't done the most in life. Yes, I've gone astray. Yes, I've done things I shouldn't have done. But the grace of God and his hand has always been on my life that I've never had to stray too much outside of him. And I always used to be like, God, I don't have a testimony because usually the testimonies that are like hyped up and reshared are the ones where, you know, like I was doing the most, I was drunk, I was partying or I was in new age stuff or I used to do drugs or almost got shot and then Jesus saved me. And those are amazing. Those show the goodness the mercy and the love of God but it's also a testimony like mine that the grace of God and his hand that's always been upon me that I've never had to go too far because he's just always kept me and he's covered me and that's a beautiful testimony in itself because it shows that there's a God that protects and a God that covers and keeps us and doesn't desire for us to live in unholiness because he does not. <laughs> Second piece of advice is that you are more than your body and you are more than your looks. I used to make it a part of my personality like yes I'm a funny babe I got a big booty I got a small waist and then my hips are hip it came a part of my everything like I used to wake up and look at my body all the time and be like girl you're fine and I'm not against doing that but God really showed me this year that beauty is not this it's not all that you're seeing does this mean you don't take care of yourself absolutely not but it's the understanding that your beauty is your character your beauty is actually within your beauty is mirroring jesus okay your beauty is about defining your character working on your character walking in the ways of god being like him talking like him to say don't look the part because i've come on this youtube channel looking the part it's important and i'm a big believer in women care of themselves actually putting effort into their appearance that comes secondary what i spend majority of my time doing that's going to develop me internally that's, that's my character that's my perspective that's the way that I speak it's the things that I read so it's all about refining my character and every day getting closer and closer to looking like Jesus like, that's the real beauty that's the real rap here don't be too obsessed about how you look and your body because that can easily become an idol and God comes second to none we serve a jealous God whose name is jealous okay he requires for him to be our priority and everything to fall secondary to that so again it's not that you can't go to the gym it's not that you can't wear makeup have your nails done like come on girl I've got my nails done and I usually have my eyelashes done I've got makeup on accessories I look cute okay but this is just saying this comes secondary right because the things that I'm saying on my channel that's coming from a place of experience of character of come of God refining me internally and that's really what matters it's not this that's going to keep you on this channel it's what's coming out of my mouth and this is internal so real beauty is within sis okay always work on your character always <clears throat> The third bit of advice I have is living in the fear of the Lord. You must be a woman that fears the Lord and not like, oh my gosh, God, you're scary. 
no the fear of the lord just means honor for him it means respect for him it means reverence from him that's the fear of the lord and that's a place that i want you to live in because god is to be honored he's to be respected okay and when you honor god he honors you back god he's a very much like do this and i'll give you this type of god it's just crazy because most times we don't deserve it but that's the type of god that we serve and fearing the lord also means loving what he loves and hating what he hates it means standing for the things that he says to stand for and standing against the things that he stands against because yes he's a god of love and the people always like isn't god meant to be so loving yes but unfortunately the world has got the wrong concept of love love is not agreement always love can be rebuke love can be don't do that love can be correction and oftentimes the purest form of love is rebuke is correction is saying i don't stand for this i want better for you so fearing the lord is so important please honor god please respect him this is not a god to be played with he's not your friend i mean he is a friend but he's not your friend in terms of you come to him and talk to him anyhow you treat his presence anyhow you take his grace for granted no this is a God to be honoured. This is a God that is the giver and the taker of life. This is a God who reduced himself down to man to die on the cross so we could internally spend a life with him, okay? So he's not a God to dishonour or to play with or to disrespect. So please install in yourself the fear of God. You do this by praying. You do this by un like just learning him. Because for those of you that have like fathers in your life or like authoritative figures you can't come to them anyhow even the queen i heard the other day right that when the queen was on earth like you couldn't talk to her unless she spoke to you and this is the whole human we're talking about think about the king of kings the one that's giving you life the one that saved your life he deserves to be honored and respected fourth bit of advice i have for you is you need sisters yeah please don't be one of them girls who hate girls please don't do it like that was so 2002 let's not do it anymore there is a need of you to have sisters and i'm not saying 10 you only need but a few i mentioned in one of my previous videos that if you want a chaotic and a confusing life have 10 million voices have too many people in your life you don't actually need too many voices and people in your life you need people in terms of connections and um yeah connection that you do need relationships essential but in terms of the people that you're vulnerable with that you're going to heed advice from mm -mm, not too many i have around like three sisters and they are more than enough it's all i need baby these are women that see me vulnerable that i can cry with that i can laugh with that i can open up with that i can walk and do life with and if you're praying for sisters please don't give up I take it from me i used to be a girl that was like god would never bless me with like the type of friend that i need boy was i wrong he gave me my best friend harriet <clears throat> who boy when i tell you we've seen life together like the enemy definitely tried to stop our friendship but that is a sister for life that is sisterhood sisterhood is covered covenant this is i'm walking with harriet she's walking with me until death do us part yeah and it's not the same level as husband and wife don't get it twisted yeah but <laughs> i'm choosing to do life with this woman the reason why i'm such a big advocate for sisterhood is because there's things as women that we go through that a man will never be able to be able to understand that your boyfriend your fiance your husband to be even your dad will never understand because they're not women so you're gonna need other women that can understand where you're coming from and what you're saying it is essential it is so important so please 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 get sisters don't give up don't be weird i i know like i know girls can be hard like trust me i know it i've been a difficult woman to be friends with right so i get it but there is a need for sisterhood and i really pray that god restores sisterhood i really pray that god restores your perspective on sisterhood and that he really brings some good women in your life to help you to hold you up when you need to be held and to just enjoy life with to speak life into you so i really pray that for you and if you want a video about like just sisterhood and friendships let me know i'm gonna bring my my bestie here and we're just gonna talk about it because i'm a big believer in sisterhood like completely the fifth thing is you need to be fathered and this is especially for my ladies like me who grew up in a single parent household and whose dad hasn't been present and i'm not here to shame my dad he has been present just not in the household and it's meant that i found myself in relationships i had no business being in y'all i found myself doing things i had no business doing because of a lack of fathering and this may shock you and it shocked me but it's the truth fathers are there to establish self-esteem they're there to correct you they're there to challenge you they're there to actually build standards <laughs> i've realized women we don't have standards you know and it's not good anybody can't be up in our lives and anybody can't be up in our business if you know what i'm saying yeah so get 
fathered get a spiritual father sit under a man of god right and not just a christian a man of god somebody that sticks by his word somebody that's integral to the word of god that will be able to teach you correct you and help you to build your self-esteem up and your standards somebody who you can even like when you're dating be like like dad what do you think about this like my spiritual father there's some men he's just like yeah no no shut up Mm -mm. Mm -mm. because obviously i'm not seeing through the same lens as he is he's helped me to already be a better wife i'm not a wife yet but there's already things in me that he's developing so when my husband comes my husband's like yeah i'm gonna keep this one i'm gonna keep this one (laughs) yeah so please get fathered find a spiritual father find a man of god that can really father you because a lot of the things that we do a lot of the places that we operate from is a lack of father is from a lack of fatherness so I really struggled to say that. <laughs> Pray that God will bring a man of God, somebody in your life that's going to really be able to help you as you grow into a woman because it's so essential. The last piece of advice I have for you is to be a woman that creates her own sense of happiness. To be a woman that outside of a relationship and outside of a man is happy. There's one understanding that God's really established is that no man is meant to be my happiness. And I actually mean in terms of like a male y'all know or should know by now my desire is to be a wife i want to be a wife i want to have my husband my man my man my man yeah my king my my baby my love all of that great stuff however i'm a whole person outside of that and i have a whole life outside of that and i'm a big advocate in creating your own happiness now the source of your happiness is jesus okay (laughs) but i'm saying don't ever get to the point where because your man's now busy you don't know what to do with yourself or because you're not in a relationship you don't know what to do with yourself cut it out okay build habits build hobbies find things that you enjoy to do keep yourself busy keep yourself occupied keep yourself nurtured learn something read something go out do something with your life okay baby girl you have a purpose okay you have a purpose women have a purpose we're never just meant to be wives just meant to be mothers i believe it's the hebrew word for woman is isa and that actually means warrior as women we are warriors we're made like we are actually made to fight and show the enemy a few things, okay? So my darling, my sweetheart, baby girl, you have a purpose. Outside of that relationship, outside of your desire to be a mom or a mother, if there's any mothers or wives watching this, you have a purpose to fulfill. There's gonna come a day where G- you and Jesus are face to face, like we are right now, and he's gonna be like, so what did you do? There's no room for excuses. So please be a woman that happiness outside of a relationship, happiness outside of a man, that finds stuff to do, that can occupy herself, that's doing things with her hand, that is purposeful. Be that type of woman. But anyway, girls, I hope you enjoyed that video. Those are just some tips. I feel like I can definitely do a part two. Really interact with me, comment your favorite piece of advice or tip. I'd love for us to talk in the comment. And for the lady that's watching this, that feels like she doesn't have a purpose, I wanna let you know that you have a purpose, okay? The God that I know and the God that I serve is an intentional and purposeful God. And so if you're breathing, you have a purpose. There is a need of you on this earth. There is a need for the things inside of you. There is a need for your skills. There is a need for your voice. There is a need for your eyes. There's a need of you and God needs you, okay? And so right now we just break every lie that the enemy has spoken over you, that he has whispered to you. You are necessary. You are needed. The world needs you. God needs you. I may even need you at some point. So please know you have a purpose and don't give up on life now that we've got that out of the way thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe we're on the road to 1k but yeah love y'all and i will see you in another video bye i've got more than 22